Hello. In this video, we are going to derive the Gibbs-Helmholtz equation. We recall that the partial derivative of G, the Gibbs energy, with respect to the temperature at constant pressure is minus the entropy. To see where we derive this particular result, please see this video. We also recall that by definition, the Gibbs energy G is equal to the enthalpy H minus T, the temperature, times the entropy S. Our motivation here will be to rearrange this expression to solve for S. First, we're going to add TS to each side to get that TS plus G is equal to H. Then we subtract G from each side to get that TS is equal to H minus G. Dividing by the temperature T, which is not equal to zero, we get that S is equal to H minus G divided by T. And we're almost there, but we want a negative S rather than a positive S. So we multiply each side of this equation by a minus one. Multiplying the right hand side by a minus one has the effect of flipping this places of H and G. So now the right hand side becomes G minus H divided by T. And now we have an expression for minus the entropy, which is exactly our right hand side here. So now we can set this expression equal to this partial derivative. And we get our intermediate result that the partial derivative of G with respect to T at constant pressure is equal to G minus H divided by T. Our next step is to evaluate the partial derivative with respect to the temperature, not just of G as we did here, but now G divided by T at constant pressure. Analysis of the definition of the Gibbs energy particularly as it's related to the second law of thermodynamics, shows that it is not so much the quantity G that is important, but rather the ratio G divided by T. So let's evaluate this somewhat more complicated partial derivative. As a first step to it, let us imagine that G divided by T is the product of two functions. One function is the function G, the second function is 1 over t, and we will use the product rule to differentiate g over t. As the first step in the derivative, we take the function g and we multiply it by the derivative of 1 over t. So formally, this is the derivative with respect to t of 1 over t at constant pressure. Then the second part of our derivative is the second function, f2, 1 over t, times the derivative of the first function, f1. So our total derivative here is g times the partial with respect to t of 1 over t, plus 1 over t, times the partial of g with respect to t, again at constant pressure. Inside the braces, we evaluate the derivative with respect to t of 1 over t, which is equivalent to t to the minus 1, so using our rules for differentiation, this is going to be minus 1 divided by t squared. Now to evaluate the second term, we have our 1 over t, which we just continue to write down. And then we have this partial derivative of g with respect to t at constant pressure. Well, earlier we had derived an expression for this particular partial derivative, and we found that to be equal to g minus h divided by t. So now we just simply substitute into here this expression for this partial derivative. After this substitution, notice that in our derivation, we've removed or solved each of the partial derivatives that we had in the expression, and now we have an expression that involves no partial derivatives. So we can solve it algebraically. 
the first term becomes minus g divided by t squared. The second term, multiplying by the 1 over t, gives us g minus h divided by t squared. On the right hand side, we notice that minus g over t squared and positive g over t squared, these are going to cancel, and we're all going to be left with is a minus h divided by t squared on the right hand side. This gives us that the partial derivative with respect to t of g divided by t, a constant pressure, is simply minus the enthalpy h divided by the temperature squared. This is the Gibbs Helmholtz equation. I thank you very much for your attention. Have a good one.